What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we're going to take a look at the Pegasus team in the context of uh, Cosmic Crucible and see if this team is going to have a viability or not. Yesterday I faced some very strange Cosmic Crucible team with Pegasus and I was very surprised with the results and how scary it was. And because it's a new team, because it's a new thing, a lot of people are going to sleep up in this kind of new combos and uh, new teams on defense and uh, it might uh, compromise your uh, season rewards now that the season of Cosmic Crucible is about to end. One way or another, we are going to take a look at uh, how they function and their stats and see what kind of viability they have uh, for the future of this specific game mode. Cosmic Crucible, we are not going to talk about raids. Okay, so as always, if you like the information on this video, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Mouse Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. I apologize, I'm still sick, still uh, struggling with the situation. And uh, instead of having like full Cosmic Crucible videos, now we are going to have highlights of my matches rather than having the full video so we can break down specific information like this one that might require a little bit more depth and uh, this will make sure that uh, you only see what you want and you don't have to see like uh, New Warriors versus Red Hulk uh, or whatever those boring matches that we already know how they work. Okay, anyway. If you want to see the full matches, of course, you can watch it live on YouTube and on Twitch every day throughout the week. So this is the team that I faced yesterday. And yes, you it's almost a 2 million power team, not a joke. I'm at very, very close to the top. I'm almost top 100 in Cosmic Crucible. And this was almost 20 million punch up against this guy. I'm almost at 50 million. He's almost at 70 million. So this is definitely some wide territory for most people but it can give you a perspective of uh, what uh, you can focus on for your future in case you want to take this approach going towards the game okay so we have uh, three pegasus characters we have uh, iron man infinity water we have Thor infinity water we have black widow we have rescue and we have uh, dark hawk and uh, iron man is insanely strong he heals up the team he deals tons of damage he applies negative effects to the enemies he does tons and tons of piercing damage and this was without kestrel if for some reason kestrel is here this would be scary af and uh, iron man he also gives more damage to thor and this was on room six bro like this room six if that thor pops his ultimate some people are about to die and uh, I, I thought this was going to be super easy and I had a terrible surprise. It wasn't easy at all. So we are going to take a look at this match, see exactly how it played out. And then we are going to make some conclusion about uh, this team and if this is something you should consider in because a lot of people are considering taking Rescue and Iron Man to Dark Dimension 6 and that means that you'll have a very oversized uh, Pegasus team. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. So you're going to use uh, Eternals plus Scroll Fury, Ultron and Shang Chi against this Pegasus Avengers team. In theory, Nick Fury should go first and buff the Eternals. In practice, I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to give speed up for everyone. Black Widow starts with her ultimate. Interesting. Why is Black Widow here? Okay, anyway, so we're gonna turn wind, one tap. We're gonna hard focus on that uh, rescue because she is the only character that can uh, cause us problems. All the other characters are way too slow. Okay, so we're gonna do the Ultron thing. We're gonna smash with Shang-Chi. Here we go. Look at that damage, man. Even without offense up, this guy is just one-shotting people. Okay, so we now we have a problem. We have that guy over there. Ooh, we, what? 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 What just happened? 
how they how did they survive it? Wow, I might lose this match. Is she going to revive? She's going to revive the guy. Wow, I'm actually going to lose this match. It might be the case. Okay, so let's turn wind that uh, that guy again. Wow, I thought this was going to be an easy win. I guess not. Okay, speed up. Offense up, heal up. Okay, so... Yeah, I have to gear tier 18... Uh, <laughs> I have to gear tier 18 my, my other guy. Okay, let's go after rescue now, since uh, she's stunned. Let's, let's attack her while she has no energy. Cersei now with a turning wind. I think she got into stealth, but we were able to, to remove it, maybe? Okay, Nick Fury now with a special again. Great. Let's keep turning winding on that uh, rescue. I don't need speed up. I'm going to keep turning winding her. Okay, let's remove that regen. Man, she has insane survivability. This is the thing with the whales. Like, these guys, they have access to the test server. And they were able to test these teams before uh, we have, so... The Black Widow here, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. But you can definitely see that this team has some value. Not just in raids. If you pair them up with the right characters. Okay, anyway. We are going to smash this while We're going to keep turning one this guy. We're going to humiliate him. Since he surprised me. So now you're going to humiliate him. Okay, there we go. It's done. It's over. We smashed the Kingsman. Kingsman was slain. Okay, so as we just saw, this match was pretty much insane. Black Widow was not doing anything here, but if Kestrel was on this team, Iron Man would do more damage and I would be probably dead right away. Like his ultimate was so powerful that he completely destroyed my team. We had multiple problems running at the same time. We have Thor that is about to pop his ultimate, is going to destroy our team right away. Then Rescue, you saw the survivability of Rescue. Not only she is super tanky, not only she heals up the enemy team for like insane amount of health and barrier and so on. Not only she revives characters, she also goes in stealth. Look at that stealth with dead proofs and speed up. It's pretty much insane. And I do tons of damage with, uh, with uh, Ultron against Iron Man and he didn't die. I think the Ultron bug, the, the ultimate has to be bugged because he removes death proofs and he didn't remove the death proofs in this case. You should not even be able to revive and uh, Ultron, he can do pretty big damage there. So maybe there is some bug with, uh, with Ultron's ultimate as there is also a bug with the... Uh, with the Red Oak special. Uh, so I don't know exactly what happened, but this was pretty crazy. So once again, you can see that we cannot allow that Thor to pop. Otherwise, he's going to destroy us. And at the same time, you have to be concerned with Iron Man because he's going to give speed up to all Pegasus characters. We have to be concerned with uh, Dark Hawk that is going to do tons of damage to us. And then we also have to be concerned with rescue. Like this team is so problematic. It really surprised me. And uh, it's showing me that the Pegasus team will not be just a raid team, that they will have a lot more value in other game modes than just, uh, than just raids, right? Now, some people might not enjoy this because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> people want more diversity, but, but at the same time, not really. Uh, I, but I think this is going to be a good value for uh, for most people. The characters that we have, uh, they they have 
tons and tons of hp so for example kestrel she's sitting right now at 1.8 million she's going to get 30 percent more health from iron man so that's going to jump her to 2.5 million the damage output of the team is insane and once again if you pair them up with the right character it's going to be just something that is going to blow you away right the ultimate from this guy it doesn't apply the blinds for multiple characters because it's not raids but one character alone one blind on one bad character it can be the end of the, the match for you so this is definitely something that is very very concerning so you can see right here 300 percent piercing but if you have castle it will be 600 percent it clears negative effect it clears positive effects away so my entire eternal steam would be destroyed right away they would not even be able to heal up because the damage output would be so massive so yeah this is something that you should be very careful with not only on the raid rooms but also on the last stage on room number six the pegasus team can be quite problematic so be careful with that in case you face them and uh, if you are thinking about investing in them i think this is going to be something interesting for sure but maybe wait until the next cosmic crucible season starts so you can know for sure if the same rules will be applied or we have something similar that we can still capitalize on okay guys so that's it for this video pegasus team in action in cosmic crucible extremely scary you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this is this a team that you are looking forward to just for raids maybe for alliance wars as well do you like that the team has more viability than just one game mode let me know all of that in the comments below and as always if you like the information on these videos make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more mouse strike force content and i'll catch you guys later